What about perceptiveness? Perceptions, the ability to tune into your environment, sensory systems, these are very relevant to sentience, which I believe is the bedrock of ethics, the capacity to feel things, in particular pain and suffering, but also pleasure, a very important element uh, which makes life more worth living. Well, we have a tendency to anthropomorphize and to view things through a human lens. Uh, naturally, we are humans, we an uh, are anthropoid apes. But it was thought for a long time that chimpanzees had rather poor face recognition skills until someone had the bright idea to test them on chimpanzee faces instead of <laughs> human faces. Yeah, we look at each other's faces and they look much more distinct to us than a chimpanzee's faces. Well, we're humans, we're not chimps. Chimps are chimps, they live with chimps. Well, we might think that they have better chimp rec face recognition skills. And lo and behold, when they were finally tested on chimp faces, they were found to have uh, equally, essentially equally, um, ast astute ability to recognize other chimp faces. Other studies have shown they also rec can recognize uh, kinship in chimps. So a range of photographs of chimp faces, none of whom they knew that they'd ever seen, they could link uh, relatives to each other based on facial characteristics that were similar. Again, something we can do quite well. We're very good at face recognition. Incidentally, chimps are better than us at recognizing faces upside down. And when I give illustrated lectures, I show a picture of a young chimp hanging upside down in a tree, looking at another chimp, and of course, you can figure out why they're good at that. We don't, we don't do that as often. So. But what about sheep? Uh, this is an animal who, uh, unfortunately for sheep, they're often being raised to, to be eaten. And we, I think we have a tendency subconsciously to want to distance ourselves and, and demean them a little bit more, because it may make us feel a little bit more comfortable about what we're about to do to them. Uh, sheep are often just sort of thought to be rather dim-witted and following kind of creatures. But studies show that they also have an inner life. Lo and behold, oh big surprise, um, they're actually very astutely aware of their surroundings and tuned into things. One study showed that sheep can remember the faces, uh, by just a single photograph, faces of 50 or more of their original flock mates two years after they last saw them just from a, a single photograph uh, or a profile shot, a series of photographs. And sheep can very quickly learn to tell you what they recognize and what they don't. Uh, sheep also prefer a smiling human face to a frowning one. And they would rather go through a door that has a photograph of a, just, of a very uh, just recently fed sheep who's probably contented with life and they, rather than a door that has a photograph of a very hungry sheep and therefore probably stressed and not happy with life. They look similar to us, but the sheep are discerning uh, subtle clues about the emotional stressed state of those sheep.